Two months ago, the United Kingdom shocked the world when its citizens voted to leave the European Union. A referendum on European Union membership had been promised by David Cameron, but few, including myself, thought that leave would actually win. But they did. And here we are now. Now the government of Theresa May has appointed a Brexit minister to oversee negotiations with the European Union once the government finally invokes Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty, the formal process for withdrawing from the European Union. So what does the government want out of these negotiations? And what are they going to get? Well, I think that no matter what happens, it's not going to be a favorable outcome either way. Or at the very least, it's not going to leave everyone happy or satisfied. And more than one large group of people is going to be severely upset by whatever result comes of it. Let me explain. One of the main arguments that Vote Leave used in the Brexit referendum was that the United Kingdom needed to control its own immigration. Anti-immigration sentiment is very strong among the Leave base, and they were able to use that along with other issues in order to successfully get a leave result in the referendum. Now, it's true. As a member of the European Union, the United Kingdom must accept freedom of movement, and it can't control the movement of European Union citizens within its own borders. The only ones it can't control are non-EU citizens, like, say, those from the United States or Japan or anywhere other than the 28 countries in the European Union. And now that the United Kingdom is withdrawing from the European Union, it's true. They will have a chance to control immigration from EU nationals to the extent that no European Union country can. After all, freedom of movement is only a basic principle of the European Union and the free trade area that it's associated with, but we'll get back to that in a moment. The problem is, and the paradox that underlines the whole Brexit negotiations is this. In order to control the movement of immigration into the United Kingdom from the European Union, the United Kingdom cannot remain a member of the single market. Let me explain. The single market is the uh, single, as, it, as its name implies, the single unifying market for all 28 European Union member nations. It ensures the free movement of people, goods, services, and capital, called the four basic freedoms. The first one, people, is the one that the United Kingdom is going to have the hardest time with in negotiations. You see, Angela Merkel and the other leaders of the European Union have made it very abundantly clear that the United Kingdom will not be able to have its cake and eat it too when it comes to the single market. Basically, if the United Kingdom wants access to it, they need to accept freedom of movement. But, of course, this undermines the entire argument for leaving the European Union in the first place. If the United Kingdom leaves the European Union only to join the European Free Trade Area, which is what Switzerland, Norway, and Iceland are part of, yes, they won't be part of the European Union, but they won't be able to control immigration either. So, even if that happens, the huge majority of the voting population that voted for leave is going to be unhappy with this, because the United Kingdom will still not have any control over its borders with EU nationals. And thus is the paradox, or the catch-22, if you will. The United Kingdom must control freedom of movement in order to satisfy Leave voters, but it cannot control freedom of movement and remain a member of the single market. One or the other, something has to give. And because the single market is essential to the UK's economy, no matter what happens, nobody is going to be happy. Either Vote Leave voters are going to be extremely angry, or the economy of the United Kingdom is going to suffer greatly after withdrawing from the European Union and the single market. What do you guys think? In these two choices, which one should the United Kingdom choose now that it has to? Is there any way that they could negotiate freedom of movement restrictions and access to the single market? I don't think they can, but I'm open to having my mind changed. Let me know what you think in the comments. Andrew Walker out.